This progressive pastor is off the rails. This man is teaching lies in order to get approval, but I don't think it's loving to compromise the truth simply to get other people's praise. Here's my message to you. Regardless of whether you're same-sex attracted or opposite-sex attracted, we are called in the Bible to put to death who we once were. It's not about singling out gay people or people within the LGBTQ community. It's about recognizing that we are all broken people and in need of saving. Just because something feels natural doesn't mean that it's good. I may want to look at pornography or sleep with my girlfriend, but that doesn't make it good. At the end of the day, we need to come back to God's word to learn his intent for sexual expression. We learn in the Garden of Eden that men and women were created for each other with different roles and yet created equally in the image of God. That man shall leave his father and his mother and cling to his wife and they shall become one flesh. All other distortions of sexuality will lead to death. Let me be clear, simply coming to Christ doesn't mean that your temptations are going to be gone overnight or that your sexual proclivities will change overnight. But it's not your orientation that saves you. It's Jesus that saves you. We're all going to be tempted in different ways, but today God is welcoming you into a better way forward, into his light, into his life. Only through him can we step into who we were truly created to be. Follow for more Christ-centered content and help support my ministry on Patreon.